Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew Bailey here, and welcome to another 2021 movie review. And this time it is going to be on a movie that I honestly did not think I would see by myself in the theater, and that is The Last Duel. Yep, this is a movie that is based on a true story, and and if you're wondering, it was rated R. It, and I, I mean, to be fair, I've seen at least one other rated R movie in the theaters. Well, scratch that, two movies in the theaters. One was with, uh, one was with my friend Matthew Davis Media, and, and that was for Joker in 2019. And I also saw The Suicide Squad by myself recently this year. And this is the next rated R movie that I have seen. And anyways, let's get into it. So this movie is, like I said, based on true events. It takes place between 1370 and 1386. And uh, at least from most of the movie. So it's pretty long ago. And it basically tells the story of three different perspectives and the, and it's based on the ma three main characters you got Adam Driver who plays an, a, one of the two knights of the story who is, if you've seen the trailers, he is accused of quote unquote molesting the wife of his so called best friend who is the other knight and, and the wife is played by Actress Jodie Comer, who was recently in the movie Free Guy this year, and she is feels like she cannot stay silent in this matter, and the two best friend, so-called best friends, duel to the death in the la for the last time, and this determines who is telling the truth, and whether or not the wife will survive, and. I have to admit, this movie was, I was pretty surprised coming out of this movie. And I have to admit, it told a pretty good story. I won't, I won't lie. The movie, the whole story is about t not only telling the truth, but trying to stand up for yourself and stand up for what is right. And that's something that, that is lacking in the real world in some cases. I'm not gonna bring up which cases specifically, but you know what I mean. And this movie kind of shows us how that, and basically the movie proves the whole story of what I just said, about how people stand up for themselves, speak the truth in their best way, the way that they can. And honestly, this is something that I've seen a lot of, not just in real life, but even on YouTube. And this is a movie that I thought really, that really can I really connected with. And it, it it's a pretty good story. I can't remember the name of the director of this film, but apparently he's directed a lot of good other films before. And if. And in regards to whether or not I think you should see this movie, if, for those of you who are under the age of 17, you would have to have someone 21 or over see it with you because it is, like I said, it is a rated R movie. And because I work at the theaters, they won't let anybody under the age of 17 go in without someone 21 or over with them. And that is all I can say, but for now, let me give you my rating of this movie. So, for my rating of The Last Duel, I have to admit, it, like I said, it was a pretty dang good film, and I'll have to give it a 4 out of 5. Yep, 4 out of 5 is my rating of this movie, which I think is the same rating that my friend Matthew Davis Media gave it, because I was not expecting myself to go and want to see this film. Usually I wouldn't see this type of film, but I decided to give it a shot, and well, 
I enjoyed it. And like I said, I recommend seeing it in the theater as long as you're over 18. If not, you have to see have someone 21 or over to see it with you. But anyways, that's all for now in this review, and I will see all you dudes in the next video.